Hello everyone, this is Angela at Angela's Garden Sense and I'm out here in the backyard. And as you can see, I have two beds back to back over here. I added a, uh, an extra garden bed this year. This year, um, this one where you see all these greens growing, I'm gonna zoom in on those in just a second. But over there, last year I had okra in this bed. And now I have tomatoes in this bed, as you can see. I'll zoom in a little bit so you can see several um, larger sized uh, beefsteak tomatoes. And over here, I have some onions, a little marigolds thrown in just for a little decor there and also to keep some pests away, but they seem to be doing okay. But I wanna go back down here on the ground and let you see what I'm doing over here we've had a lot of rain lately and uh, let me see here i'm going to zoom in a little bit so you can see in this dinosaur kale see a couple little holes in some leaves so that tells me something's been chewing on them and i'm going to have to blast them with some water oops i've got them a little bit too large here um and to try and get some of these pests off sorry about my camera acting up like that uh that is unintentional okay but anyway i just wanted to give you an idea of what was going on as you can see i am growing uh la Senado kale also known as dinosaur kale let me zoom in so you can see it a little bit better they are absolutely doing well but again something has been chewing on them either caterpillars or some other kind of chewing insect so i'm gonna uh try and treat them a little bit and of course you see the regular curly leaf kale as well and they seem to be doing well it's my first year having a, a bed entirely devoted to kale and i do enjoy kale a lot so i'm really excited about that i'm going to give it another angle so you can see now these are small four by four beds but i've got quite a few in there as you can see so I'm really, really happy about that, and uh, everything seems to be doing fairly well, but I'm going to, first of all, I'm going to blast them with some water, and then I'm going to treat them with some neem oil to try and uh, arrest some of those pests that are chewing on them. I do have a cover that I may try and put on this bed as well, but I am really excited to share this with you. Um, because again i've never had a bed devoted entirely to green leafy vegetables they seem to be doing well and i hope that i will be able to have enough that i'll be able to get a really good harvest from them so just a quick update of what's going on i'll be doing some more here in the backyard so you can take a look but really 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 pleased right now of course this is still early june so hopefully things will continue to to thrive as summer really sets in and um, I'll be doing a tomato update really soon as well anyway and there's that crazy butterfly I just saw him flitting by but happy to share this with you thanks for watching everybody remember to plant something and always eat what you grow take care everybody see you next time bye bye